What's up players? Welcome to Sims Tennis. We got a little bit of a different video for you today. We are doing a racket comparison. We are looking at the 98 square inch spin category, which is one of my personal favorites. And we've got three really good offerings to look at. Those rackets include the Babolop here Aero 98, the V-Core 98, and the Head Extreme Tour 98. Starting with the specs of the rackets, they all come in at 305 grams and they all also share a 315 millimeter balance. The swing weights are a little bit different though. The arrow coming in the heaviest at 327, followed by the V-Core at 318, and then the Extreme Tour at 317. For the stiffness, the Babolat Pure Arrow 98 is the stiffest at 65, and then the V-Core is 62, and the Head Extreme Tour is 63. The string patterns, the Babolat Pure Aero 98 is a little bit different. It's got a 16 by 20 pattern, where the V-Core and Extreme both share a 16 by 19 pattern. For the beam, um, they're all a little bit different, but nothing too outlandish. They all range between 21 and 23 millimeters. Um, they each have their own specific and slightly different taper, but they're not too different from each other. As we move on to the playability characteristics, I was really torn here between including on-court footage of me hitting with these rackets versus going with a more data-driven approach for this video. Since I already have a review posted to my channel for each of these rackets, what I've decided to do here is to link those in the description below. And for this video, I've created a table that's going to allow us to see the information clearly and concisely all in one place. Okay, so starting off with power, the Aero 98 has the stiffest frame, and it also has the most mass behind the ball with that swing weight of 327, and so power is going to go to the Aero 98, and it's going to get three stars for that category. The V-Core 98 comes in second, and then the Extreme Tour comes in third. That leads us into control, where the Extreme Tour is going to come in first. It's got the most traditional head shape and arguably the tightest string pattern. And I also felt the most connected to the ball here. And so the Extreme Tour is going to get three stars there. The V-Core 98, again, is in second with two. And then the arrow with the highest powered response is coming in third place with a single star. So next up is maneuverability. The Extreme Tour with that more traditional head shape and that just slightly lower swing weight comes in first place here with three stars, uh, followed closely by the V-Core 98. And then the Aero 98 was a little bit more sluggish than those two with that beefier swing weight of 327. That leads us into stability where the higher swing weight and twist weight of the Aero 98 are going to give it three stars and put it in first place, followed closely there by the V-Core 98 and then the Extreme Tour is coming in third in this category. For touch and feel, again, I felt the most connected um, direct response from the Extreme Tour, and so it's gonna get three stars there, followed again by the V-Core 98, and then lastly, the Aero 98 gave me kind of the most dampened response and also was the most powerful, and so it's gonna come in third place there. All right, so moving on to topspin here, the Aero 98 is king. It's got the stiffest frame and it also has the most mass behind the ball with the higher swing weight. So that really allows you to get the ball to compress into the strings and then kind of shoot out with lots of spin. The V-Core 98 was a pretty close second and then the Extreme Tour was not far behind. Again, remember though, we were in the spin category of rackets. So all of these rackets spun the ball really well for a 98 square inch frame. All right, so moving on to ground strokes, we'll start with the forehand. On the forehand side, where it's a lot easier to generate racket head speed and I really value control, the Extreme Tour is going to come in first with three stars, followed by the V-Core with two stars, and then the Arrow with that single star. Keep in mind that this could change a bit depending on what you value. If you value the pop and spin on that forehand side, you'd be leaning more towards the Arrow than you would towards the Extreme Tour. That's exactly the case for me on the backhand side where my swing is shorter and flatter. I really value that added mass behind the ball and that free pop on the backhand side. And so the arrow is going to get three stars here. The V-Core comes in second with two stars and the Extreme Tour comes in third with the single star. Moving on to slice, the Extreme Tour has been giving me the best direct connected feel to the ball. And so it's going to take first place getting three stars here 
followed by the V-Core getting two stars and the Arrow getting a single star. For volleys, it's more of the same. That direct connected feel of the Extreme Tour in combination with his maneuverability are gonna put it in first place getting three stars. Followed by the V-Core getting two stars and the Arrow getting a single star here. Okay, so up until this point, you've kind of seen the Arrow take the cake in the power, pop, and spin departments, where the Extreme Tour is on the other end with slightly more control and feel. The V-Core has kind of been right in the middle, and with Serve is where things are going to change a little bit. So on Serve, I was really able to appreciate that perfect combination of power, control, and feel that the V-Core offered. The Arrow comes in a close second here, getting two stars, but it would probably be the first choice for those that want to step up and just bomb some serves. While the Extreme Tour comes in third with one star, it's no slouch in the serve department, and for those that value control, they would really be at home serving with this racket. Finishing things up with returns, the versatile nature of the V-Core 98 again swayed me to pick it in this category. The Aero 98, with its stability, mass, and plow through, come in a close second, and again, while the Extreme Tour is no slouch, it can be a little unforgiving at times on returns. So in summary, while these rackets are marketed the same and look the same on paper, they each distinguish themselves throughout the playtest. The Arrow is a racket that's really going to allow you to impose your will on your opponents. The Extreme Tour is a racket that's really going to offer you that direct connected feel. And the V-Core kind of toes the line between the two. I personally have been really enjoying the versatile nature of the V-Core and have begun the process of switching to this racket. But stay tuned for that official announcement. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you found that helpful, please hit that like button and let me know what you think of the format of this one in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to embrace the grind.